Hi everyone, in this video I will be demonstrating and explaining the science behind a classic experiment, elephant toothpaste. If you're just here for a big backyard reaction, then this probably isn't the video for you. If, however, you're curious about why it happens, which a lot of videos don't address, then keep watching. I wish I didn't have to go and leave you in this place. Go. I know I've got it, but I figured I'd tell you in case. So, what's happening? Hydrogen peroxide is a strong oxidizer because its chemical formula is H2O2. Over time, H2O2 decomposes to oxygen gas, O2, and water, H2O. The yeast acts as a catalyst by taking off one of the oxygens so that the peroxide breaks down faster. This is the same reaction that happens when you put hydrogen peroxide on a cut. An enzyme in blood, called catalase, catalyzes the reaction just like the yeast does. Bubbles of oxygen form as a product, and in the case of elephant toothpaste, get trapped between the molecules of soap creating the signature foam that kind of looks like toothpaste. To get a larger reaction, like the ones you see all over the internet, there are a few things you could do. One is to use a higher grade of hydrogen peroxide. 12% is often used to decolor hair before dyeing it, and 30% is considered lab grade, and should only be handled safely and in a controlled environment. Another way is to change the catalyst. Obviously, baker's yeast is not going to be as strong as chemical catalysts such as manganese dioxide or iron 3 chloride. You might even be able to see some steam coming from the reaction. This is because elephant toothpaste is exothermic, meaning that heat is released as the reaction progresses. Well, that's it. I hope this was helpful and informative. Thank you for watching and for sticking with me all these years. Until next time. tell you in case